Hello everyone, Christine again, and um, this is another production for the TLC Arts and Skills class. Uh, I am Christine, and Naomi, who is filming, will be doing the devotional again today. So today we're doing something in honor of um, Holy Week, and because it's Easter, and we really want to be able to acknowledge the sacrifice that Jesus paid for us. Um, we want to do something that is um, going to reflect that. So I'm going to do two crafts today. One will be um, for Good Friday, and we'll do a cross. And the second one is what I'm going to do now. I'm just doing it backwards, I'm sorry. But um, this is our Resurrection Day craft. So hope you're going to enjoy and I hope you will be joining us and creating as well. Hi everyone, it's Naomi Ekanaika. Today from TLC Arts and Skills, uh, Christine is doing two crafts with us. And one is a tomb uh, garden that she's doing with us. And um, when I saw what she did, it is amazing. And it has a great message for you and me today. So as we are in the Holy Week, as we remember the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and the resurrection of him, we are doing these two crafts with Christine and we are going to learn uh, today um, about his uh, story of his death and his resurrection. Truly, uh, our Christian story, our Christian message is based on his death and his resurrection. Because of his death, we have salvation, we have eternal life, we have hope, we have, we have everything that we need. So today, the scripture verse is taken from John chapter 20, verse 11 to 13. It uh, talks about Mary who was there and uh, Mary went to look at the tomb uh, the next day and then when it says but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping as she wept she stopped stooped down and looked into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting one at the head of head 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 and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? So Mary went to see the tomb. And uh, when she went, she saw two angels. And Mary was weeping. Mary was so sad. Mary saw Jesus be crucified on the, uh, on the cross and was buried. So Mary was so sad and weeping. And Mary didn't have any hope. But she saw two angels and the tomb was empty. It was an empty tomb. And the angel said to Mary, why are you weeping? I don't know about you. In our situations, we might have a situation in our life where we feel that everything that we hope for, everything that we believed in is not there anymore. Everything. Mary loved Jesus so much and she uh, wanted a future with God but she felt like on the cross that Jesus was dead and he was buried in the tomb and the story has ended and she felt like she has nothing and she was crying. You and I may have situations in our life that when we face we feel that it is impossible nothing can be done it is so sad situation we are in but i want to encourage you the tomb is empty the tomb is empty jesus is not in the tomb jesus is not dead but he is alive he is alive he's sitting with god have in heaven with the father he is sitting in the throne with god so there is a tomb the tomb is empty so as Christine shows us how to do this beautiful craft where a tomb is a tomb a garden and the tomb is empty and we have an angel standing there telling you and me today why are you weeping why are you sad why are you discouraged why are you depressed why are you sad whatever that you might face in your life the tomb is empty God has raised Jesus Christ from from death he has given him victory over death and you and I because we love God because we are his children we have victory through Jesus Christ 
Jesus' tomb is empty. We have victory. So there is an empty tomb. There is victory for you and me as we celebrate this holy season, as we remember Jesus' death, as we remember uh, the salvation we receive because of his death. Because of Jesus' blood, we have got salvation. Our sins have been washed clean. Our sins have been forgiven. We have got eternal life because of the cross. So Christine is going to do another craft with the cross. And as um, the TLC pastors have asked us to keep a cross outside our homes, keep keep a cross outside our apartments, wherever people will see and ask us about the cross, we can testify that Jesus died on the cross cross for you and me and that Jesus rose again on the third day so whatever situation you might face in your life maybe you're feeling down remember look at the tomb the tomb is empty maybe you're feeling defeated look at the empty tomb maybe you feel hopeless remember the empty tomb whatever situation you might face whatever situation you might face in your life remember the tomb is empty he has risen our jesus christ our lord and savior he has risen so let's celebrate this um, season of easter and let's worship and let's glorify god and let's witness to everyone around us there are so many people who are around us who are still blinded who are still without hope who are still hopeless let's give them the message of Easter this season tell everyone we meet by our light by our shining light let them see Jesus let them see that the tomb is empty and we have victory through the name of Jesus through Jesus' death and resurrection so let's pray together father we come to you we thank you, Lord, that you are alive. We thank you there is an empty tomb. Lord, we thank you that you are resurrected Savior, Lord. You have been resurrected, Lord, and death could not defeat you. Lord, we thank you that whatever facing thing that we might have, whatever we face in our life, whatever difficulty, whatever problem we might face, help us to remember the empty tomb, that we have victory through the mighty name of Jesus, that we have victory, victory through, through Jesus Christ. Lord, let's remember the empty tomb. Let's remember the Easter that where you rose again, and that you are alive and you are living in inside of us holy spirit and you are alive alive in us and we have victory through your name in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen so happy Easter to all of you and I hope that you enjoy doing this craft with Christine. I was so amazed when she did this craft and, and I really loved it and I know that you and I we would enjoy doing this and we would have it displayed so that everyone who doesn't know Jesus, everyone in our life will get to know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Happy Easter. God bless you. So first of all, I want to go over our supplies that we're going to need. And I've not done this before. So um, it's going to be learn as we go again. Um, but our supplies, we need um, lots of soil. And just potting soil is good for what we're going to do. Um, I have garden gloves, but I'm going to use um, my rubber gloves here. I have uh, some rocks. Again, these are, most of my things can be um, purchased from the Dollarama or Dollar Tree. These ones I actually got for for a dollar twenty five at Dollar Tree. Um, I have a stone, and even though um, this is a very pretty stone and it does say believe on it because I am gonna reuse it. I'm actually not going to use this side. I'm going to use this side. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the uh, part we'll be using. I have some pots. Um, I don't need uh, all of these. I only need one, but any pot um, about this size will work. Um, you, you need it to fit onto your tray. 
so i've got a couple of trays i couldn't originally find this tray which was what i was looking at this is really the base of um, a plant pot that's what you put a plant pot on um, so instead i found this tray which is a bit larger and it's going to use me a lot more space but you know really what i wanted was uh this one um but you know both of them will work any tray will work it doesn't necessarily have to be any of these um the main thing is that you don't want your soil falling all over the place so we want to make sure that we've got a lip or some edge to keep it from and of course because it's a uh, no, the last thing I'll tell you about after, um, moss. This is uh, floral moss, again, from the Dollar Tree. But in actual fact, I'm going to make it this way, but really I'm not keeping mine um, in that way. I really want to um, put grass seeds on the top of my mound so that I will be able to actually grow grass. So I'm gonna do two of these and see if by the time we get to Resurrection Sunday, I actually have some grass growing. <laughs> we'll see if that works. And of course, because it's a resurrection scene, um, I found an angel. And I might spray that angel white, I think. But for now, she's gonna work. Okay. So those are all of my supplies that we are going to need for this project. So I, I have decided that I'm going to use the smaller tray for um, the base of our garden. And one of the um, plant pots that is going to become or represent the tomb. So we really need to anchor this onto our plate um mostly to the back so you want this to be uh more to the back now you can see that i have put it right to the edge almost of the um the tray because we want all of the activity in the front basically and um we need to anchor it down. So either you can use a glue gun to anchor your pot so it's not rolling all over the place, or I have a little piece of double-sided tape, which is what I am going to use to, when I can get it into it, to anchor my pot down. So I'm gonna stick it, is it sticky? Yeah, I'm gonna just stick it there. Oh, now it's sticking to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick it on my pot and then I'm going to position it and stick it down. Good. That works really well. So that I have now a base for the next part. Okay, you want to pour? So now I am going to take my soil and we're going to put the soil on the base of our garden. Hello, miss. Do you want to be in my video? We have little Miss Savannah hiding in, so I said Savannah, it's the wrong Miss Savannah, it's Miss Hosanna. I was thinking of another little one who's hiding in the corner. Yes. Are you going to come? No? Okay. So what we're going to do is just do a small layer that goes all the way around the garden. So maybe about what, an inch, something like that. Okay. Do you need to stop? I'm going to make a mound hill. Now, I don't know if this soil is going to work. If it doesn't, we're just going to like pat it around there. And then I did put word of preparation, put a piece of paper underneath because the soil is going to go in different places. So I'm just taking the soil 
and I am going to try to pat it. Now, if your soil is um, not wet, not sticky, then just wet it a little bit so that we can make a mound. And we're just going to cover. I'm not sure this is going to be. Put it on. Okay. So you can see that I have packed my soil on top. I've almost covered it of my um, plant pot to make a hill. Now, if I did this again, I probably would bring my, so what I'll suggest, okay. so what I would suggest is to give yourself a little bit more space at the back. You can see that now I've put it too far to the back um, because I was so into making sure that I had enough on the front, but I think I would have liked it three quarters of the way. So you can see, have I completely covered the back yet? Don't know. Let's see. That's the back of my garden. And this is the front of the garden. So I have made like a mounded hill with my plant pot. So you want to make sure that, you know, the plant pot, mine is green. I don't want it to be showing any plastic. So we've covered it mostly all together. Okay, so the next thing we want to make is, um, I think I'm going to lay my stones. So what, let's make a pathway with the stones. So my garden stones, I am just throwing them down and making a pathway to the two. wider at the, the top here okay so now we have our pathway to the side of the two so our our tomb garden is coming along our resurrection garden, I'm going to call it our resurrection garden scene. Have we put in our stones? Now we have this moss. Now, remember that I said that uh, there are two ways that we can do it. We can just use the moss, which I'm going to use now for this, but I am going to do another one that um what you would do if you want it as a project for the kids that they can watch it grow and you want to see some real growth from your garden this at this point now i would put grass seed along this side the pathway here and here and over the two and then put some more soil on the top of it and then water your garden okay but because this one, I want to finish it, I'm not going to do the moss, but I really want to do the growing garden as well. So this moss, we're going to just put at the side of our garden. The lights on, that's okay. So I put a little water just to soften up the moss. And that helps it to stay down. And we just want to cover our garden. The moss is a bit dry, it's brittle. Mm -hmm. 
So here is our hill so far, looking really like a resurrection garden too. Really looking good. So I do want to say that if you have a tray or a plate or a dish or whatever you're using as your base and you don't like the color, you can paint it black or you can, you know, um, do something with it. Spray paint it if you have spray paint or if not, even uh, regular acrylic paint will work. Um, but try and get, try not to get something patterned because we want it to look realistic. Okay, so now the next part is our stone. So remember I had this stone that was all pretty on this side. Of course, we're not going to use this side of the stone. This is the side we are using because we need it to be the stone that has been rolled away. So I don't want to say something about you choosing the stone. When you choose the stone, just make sure it can stand up. Otherwise, you'll have trouble anchoring it on there. So I, I, I tried to find one that I had in the store that I could check that it would stand up so that I can now lay it to the side of my tomb. And that just fits really perfectly there. Okay, so we want to put our angel. Now you don't have to use an angel. I just really wanted an angel on my garden. So I don't know, should we put it here? I am liking it there because it stays on the edge. So we'll put the angel right there. And um, that's individual. You can put whatever you want on your um, garden. I also want some of these little um, flowers. So I'm gonna put a few of these little fake baby's breath as like little bushes in my garden and we're just gonna you know um, just push them down there let's see and there we have it our resurrection scene garden tomb that you can use to celebrate our Resurrection Sunday and show that the grave is empty and Jesus is alive. So for our cross bar, we are going to use three pieces of bamboo and you're doing exactly the same thing, lining them up as much as possible and taking your twist ties. Um, this time, I think your twist tie needs to be in the middle. Because of course, we don't want twist ties showing at the ends of the arms of our cross. So let me just make sure that they are straight. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pull them together. As tightly as I can. Now, once we've done this, you want to cut off the ends of, of course, your uh, twist ties, okay? So now you can see that I have tied just one single tie of um, twine or jute rope that I've put here. And now we're going to, I'm gonna turn it around and we're going to try to anchor this by going under and over. And then on the other side, the same thing, over and under. So you want to do that at least two or three times to anchor it together. I'm just going to finish what I have here under and over. 
because it's supposed to be a rough cross. Yeah. But we just need that to cover these, these bits. Okay. And when I finish at the back, now I can just glue this piece to stop it from coming off. So we'll do that now. I don't know if this is hot enough. Okay, that's better. So I'm just glue gun in the end down. Oop. And we'll do the same to this piece up here. Okay, now we still have this twine, this here, but I think I'll put maybe a, uh, one of the flowers on there, but that's the start of our cross. Okay, so we've now put, I was just testing to see how this is going to look. So um, we don't have lots of soil in here. But what we are going to do is, I've instructed Naomi, <laughs> um, we'll just put it in here for now, but she's going to get some more soil Come close, that will fill up the pot and raise it up so that her cross is not like buried deep into the pot. Okay, so, but for now, this is what we're working with because we don't have any more soil. So now that we have our cross together with our jute rope, um, now we're going to work on the base, how we're going to anchor it. So I decided that I'm going to use one more of these pots that I got in the packet for my tomb. And I'm going to use the stones and put inside. So put a few stones in. And then put the rest of them around. Oh, I've already got some. This will help to keep them there. Hosanna, do you want to come and help put some of my stones in? Do you want to put some stones in? Can you put the stones in for me? Thank you. That's so helpful. Okay, do we need any more? Maybe a few more. Good job. You have to give her something to do. Great job. Oh, I better hold it, eh? Now, let's maybe move those around. So, hopefully our stones we'll keep thank you so much we'll keep our cross again they are just like solid for stuff because we're all about making things very cheaply so i think three flowers is good enough on here so we'll put two on the side and one at the back and that way we have now covered up the base of our pot. Okay. Good. Now, if you have some extra space, you can use some of the green of the leaves and just stick those in between too. Okay, and that's the base of our pot. Okay, because I decided that we would use these flowers, put the lilies at the bottom because we know that the lilies are uh, synonymous with Easter. Um, but just because this is very close to the off-white of this, we're going to use the 
these flowers at the top. So let's see where we're going to do this. We want to cover this whole thing. We have singing in the background with from from uh, Hosanna. And I guess today is her day. It's all about your name, Hosanna, since it's Palm Sunday. Yeah, so we should be singing Hosanna. Do you know that song, Hosanna? Are you going to sing it? Yeah. No. <laughs> she said no. Okay, I've lost my flowers. So here now is the edge or the top part of our pillowcase that we've cut and we are now going to drape it over our huh. <laughs> and there we are oh, almost Obviously, you could play with this yourself until you got it the way you wanted it, but that's okay. And then we can put it into our pot. Now, don't forget, Naomi, you're going to raise up your, your pot with the soil so that um, it's going to stand up a, a little bit higher. But um, this is our um, porch cross, um, a little garden one if you have a little garden, or you can also put it in your um, in your apartment hallway by your door. But I just want to be able to show you the two pieces together. So here is our Good Friday uh, witness, and this is our Resurrection Sunday piece. Happy Easter, everyone!